good afternoon, West Ham fans. Russ and the West Ham Network, hope you're safe. We're just a few hours away from our Premier League season kick-starting again with a top-four clash against Man City on Saturday, on a Saturday at three o'clock at the London Stadium. Unbelievable, Jeff. If you're new out here, give it a like, give it a comment, give it a share, give it a subscribe. A nice spike in subscribers the last couple of days. So welcome. Thanks for joining us. What we try and do on a match day uh, a couple of hours before we get the team news is predict our 11s. Um, now, obviously, we, we've heard from David Moyes in his press conference, we're relatively unscathed in terms of our um, of our international people, we know JWP, he had a knock, went home, um, was meant to come back on Monday, didn't, Tuesday was a rest day, but was pictured on Wednesday when Sky Sports and the cameras were there, um, and also Vladimir Soufal was there, obviously he took a knock in international um, duty for Czech Republic, he was due to play Hungary, did not travel to Budapest, stayed at the Czech Republic to have treatment on whatever was wrong with him. We don't know. Um, so relatively unscathed. And actually some players came back with, you know, in flying colours, the likes of um, Dinos, the likes of Caduce, both scored two goals in their international breaks um, for their respective countries. So as always, what we try and do is uh, we try and predict the, the side and uh, let's crack on like Donkey Kong, as we would say. So let's uh, let's get all my stuff ready and uh, I'll be wrong. I'll be wrong. I guarantee I'll be wrong. Don't worry about that. We'll be definitely be wrong because it's it's always the case. Um, we don't want that one. We want that one. We want that one. That's better. Thank you, Russ. So let's let's start with the easy bit, shall we? I think I think I think the easy one is in goal. Um, Alphonse did not feature uh, for France despite being called up. Um, so fresh, just went on a little trip to France, really. Not right, for some. Um, so he'll keep the jersey, and I and I expect you will see on Thursday um, uh, Fabianski um, between the sticks for him back at London Stadium to play uh, TSC in the first group stage match of the Europa League. So, yeah, the Serbian side, who currently are undefeated in their league, top of the table uh, at the moment. So let's, and we'll talk about a little bit more about them on Monday or Tuesday, probably. So let's go with, so I think we'll go with back four. Makes sense. Um, and I think it's a relatively simple back four, possibly, with everyone everyone fighting fit. Um, Emerson, left back. Uh, he'll, he'll have a tough time. He'll have a tough time this week um, in terms of Man City. Um, next to him will be will be Aged. I would imagine he obviously came back slightly later um, from international duty compared to everyone else. Himself and Alvarez um, both came back on straight and on Thursday. They got back Wednesday night, I believe, where everyone else got back was back for training on Wednesday. Um, Zuma's had a couple of couple of weeks off, so to speak, apart from obviously he played. Did he play in the game with Ipswich? I think he did. I think he played in the Ipswich game. So he'll be there. Um, and then uh, I would assume if he's fit, Vlad comes in. Um, now, my only slight concern is, and that's just for my OCD, sort that out, make sure it's all... It's, <laughs> It's all it's all lined up properly because otherwise I just won't pay any attention to anything else. Thank you. Um, now, if Vlad is not 100% fit, um, I wouldn't play him. I would not play him. I think out of all the side, he's been our least best performing player. Um, and he's been showing up a little bit with pace. And, you know, potentially you think maybe Greenish plays. If not, maybe Doku plays, and obviously Doku tore, tore most of West Ham sent the defence a new one, really, when we played them, uh, played Stad, uh, Stad Ren, uh in the pre-season friendlies. If he isn't available, um, I would do this. Or if Moyes doesn't think he's 100% fit, I wouldn't play him. Instead, Dino. Now, Dino can play right back. He has played right back before. In fact, a lot in the, in some of the training videos with West Ham, he was playing right back. But also, he's six foot in four, and JWP could put it on his head. And he scored two goals, two headers um, against Gibraltar in a five 0 win in the UEFA in the uh, UEFA um, qualifiers this week. So, 
I'd like to see him. I'd like to see him on the pitch. He's not going to upset the apple cart in my type of. But he's, I mean, it'd always be a Gerd and Zuma. If not, we'll see Dino play on. Probably see him play on Thursday. I'd imagine if not. But I wouldn't mind just trying something a bit different. Could you imagine if Doku plays? Doku's about three foot nothing, and he's six foot four. So you would just get put him on the right, the right, and just get him charging. He's quick as well. Get him charging and just see. Newcastle do it. Dan Burn all the time. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to go crazy. I'm going rogue. Now, in midfield, I think what he's going to do is sort of do what he did before, um, before Tommy Suchet. Obviously, he'd be back from his concussion. Obviously, he's been playing in the Czech Republic, scored an assist. Great little feat uh, for the for a goal he set up um, on Tuesday, I think he was. Go and check it out on Twitter. It's very good. Um, but in terms of, I think uh, Alvarez plays and literally just plays in front of the, the front four, the back four rather, and just marshals it, you know, it's quite clear that's what that's what Moyes likes to do. And then I think he's going to go for that weird four that he did um, at the beginning of the... What game was it? Was it the looting game? No, it wasn't the looting game. It was the Bryson, it was the Bryson game, wasn't it? It was the Bryson game when he had that weird front four. And I think he'll do the same again, which means for me, um, Paqueta on the right left-hand side, which is random. Um, and then I think you put Bowen on the right-hand side like that. There we go, Russ, well done. And then I think you do have, and despite the fact that no one wants um, Tommy Suchek to play, really, but he has been playing quite effectively of late he's probably you know playing a lot better than he has done recently um and again i need to sort that out because my eyes are going to go funny if i don't look at it and the top of it as well and then for me mickey hasn't done anything at the international break so he should be fighting fit mickey there i think that's what will happen um in terms of the setup which is you know i mean to be honest it's a it's a He's a strong side. He's a strong side. I don't think it'll always end up, end up like a four. I think you'll end up having something like this with Alvarez and JWP and sort of Sue Checky doing sort of there and then Paqueta being sort of a bit here and then a bit here and then a bit there and then Bowen being a bit there. It's, it's quite a fluid, you know, it, Paqueta's not stuck on the left-hand side if that happens. Um, ideally, what I would like to see what I would like to see is Alvar is there. And this, again, probably won't happen. Um, and then let's just take everyone off and bring him back on. What I would like to see is, is uh, JWP, as you know, play it like a two. Have them like a two, like that. Uh, have him like that. And then Caduce, Bowen put back in there and Antonio that's what I would prefer without Tommy Suchek playing but we know that's not going to happen but fuck it I'm going to put that here that's what I like that's that's what I want that's what I want yes people say Caduce hasn't played left wing we know he hasn't played left wing but at the moment um, I would rather him there and actually if you see some of his goals particularly ones against Liverpool um, which is arguably he said he's one of his best goals he's ever scored he comes off from the left he's drift, he was playing up front and he was, sort of drip, was playing sort of a, a false nine and was drifting out to the left so fuck it, just put him there if you're dragging that way Carl Walker's going to have to stay with him isn't it and you've got Carl Walker on that right hand side he's going to have to stay with him and so it 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 sort of takes hit takes the you know by having some mac mega quick and having pushing you know almost pinning the full back back that's what would happen if you put Caduce there and he will get pinned back because Caduce is is a very very dangerous player particularly as he is now on fire with two goals and two games for the international break so that's what I'm going to go with that's what, but what are you going to go with. What'll be your eleven? Let us know in the comments. As I said, we'll find out the teams in a an hour or so. Um, but let me know what you think. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm cool. that would do me. Yes, I don't think uh, Matt Mavropanos probably isn't your perfect right. I mean, the other option is you go to a back three, and then you. Well, okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. The other option is you go to it, which is which he I don't think he'll do because he hasn't done any inclination that he would do this. But you go with a back three with Zuma playing in the middle. You'd play Emerson as left wing back. 
You could play Sufau as right wing back. And then, right, let's take all this out. Then you would have Alvarez and JWP. Then you would have Paqueta. You would have to drop Caduce and play something like that or a bit like this. That's how he sort of plays that formation. Or get rid of him and then get Caduce in. But the thing is, you'd miss the physicality of Antonio. You need that particularly because it's something different. Although it's something that they're more used to, probably Man City are probably more used to most sides because Haaland is such a, like a physical beast, so to speak. They're used to defending against him in training sessions. So it's probably less prevalent against Man City to have a big guy up front, actually having someone, a little nippy player or, or two nippy players like the likes of Caduce and Bowen could be really interesting. But we know that's not going to happen. We know it's going to be 4-2-3-1. We know Suchek's playing. We know Antonio's playing. We know Paquetta's going to have this weird or a 4-1-4-1 or whatever we're playing at the moment. Paquetta's going to be sort of stuck on the left, but he's not on the left. He's going to be coming across, which means we'll have a massive hole on the left-hand side, which Cole Walker will be running down all the time. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, Pep. There we go. It's sorted. Anyway, anyway, if you're new around here, give it a like, give it a comment, give it a share, give it a bloody good subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. As I said, we'll be no, probably won't be any um, watch long today because Anton's actually watching the game. He's down here. He's down here. He's down in He's down in a, he's down in West Ham. Um, but we'll try and do a live reaction after the game outside the stadium. So if you are going to the game, hang around sort of the, the, with a, 1967 statues um it's and we'll be around there um so if you want to come and say hello anyway um and until next time take care stay safe stay warm stay humble my friends come on you irons and let's get into them come on have it bosh